everybody, Mike Naso here from podweather.com and Internet Partnership Radio with an update on the tropics. We are approaching mid-August, and that means the hurricane season should be heating up. Already have had five named storms, of which two of them were hurricanes. One of them was a major hurricane, and more are likely on the way. You can see we have two in vest. The first one is here in the uh, central Atlantic, and the low pressure that we have been tracking is down here, but that almost looks to be dissipating and a new low pressure may be further north and kind of just ragged as it moves westward and then this system is Invest 93L and this is much more ominous because it looks to be developing and uh, potentially moving westerly these are both expected to move west or west northwest and we'll talk about them over the next few minutes here's the uh, model guidance on Invest 92L and this one's centered uh, down here approaching 50 west and about 12 north but be wary of that when I show you satellite imagery and I'll show you what's going on. And the models generally take this northwesterly and then back to the west as the ridge rebuilds. Some get it caught up over the Caribbean. But note the motion would keep it well into the Caribbean towards Hispaniola. But there's something you need to see first. This center that we've been tracking this morning, see it in here? If the convection could wrap around and get organized, watch what happens at the end of the loop. It absolutely disappears. It's gone. And suddenly you start to get a spin in this region here, and that looks a lot more favorable than what used to be the spin in here. Either way, it's not favorable in any regard, and it's looking a lot more ragged than it did even a couple of hours ago. You have the thunderstorm activity here, the dying out vorticity down here, and then something trying to spin in here. It is a ragged tropical disturbance, and even though it's ragged it still needs to be watched but at this point it doesn't look like anything rapid would happen with it now this one is 93 L and this one could have some rapid goings it's currently moving just north of west it's way off the screen down there south uh, west of the Cape Verde Islands and the models generally take it west or west northwest and even the longer range models show it becoming a formidable hurricane and potentially heading in this general direction and that will be because of the changing pattern of uh, the upper level ridging uh, the high pressure and that changing pattern will make it much more favorable for storms out here to get closer to the United States now taking a look at the visible satellite imagery this morning you can see look at this this is trying to organize clearly and it has uh, decent banding features for a tropical disturbance it is looking rather formidable and this could become a depression or even a storm well before this system over here but this system still needs to be watched as it moves towards the islands. Both of these need to be watched. And you can see some of the drier air moving off here, the more stable air up here. But this system's well down here, organizing a lot of moisture to work with, and it's going to move in this direction the next few days. Now, as far as upper level wind shear, over our system, uh, the low pressure we were tracking down here, again, appears to be fading out, and there's potential that a new low pressure might form. We have this upper lamp level anticyclone and it's high pressure and it's right over the top here and that spin is causing a favorable environment for our system but it doesn't have a good vorticity so that's why we're not really seeing uh, any development with it as it moves westward but conditions should be favorable so if it does want to develop it could as for our system further out that will have favorable conditions as well and the ship's model makes it a strong hurricane the NAM model shows our wave out here moving northwest and being north of Puerto Rico is a strengthening storm by Friday and given the ridging pattern generally west or west northwesterly direction would likely be expected uh, based on this again you can see it now it's not all that well organized but again it does look like maybe that center we were tracking down here is no longer the situation we're now dealing with maybe something in here to be concerned with again even if we are very weak and disorganized moving generally towards the northern islands the next few days behind it you can see our system organizing here and this one is going to have to be watched because this could move west northwest and even gain latitude but then come right on back towards the west over the next week or so we're gonna have to watch that carefully now further out in the Atlantic uh, we do have uh, in the western Caribbean this area disturbed weather Interesting to watch, but it shouldn't do much. It's either going to Central America or into the Eastern Pacific. And then off the coast of Mexico in the Eastern Pacific, we do have our invest in here, which some models still make a hurricane. Then we have another invest in here, which some models also make a hurricane. And then we have a hurricane.
Hurricane Hernan. Here's the latest on Hurricane Hernan as of uh, 11 a.m. Hernan was at uh, 19.0 north, 130.2 west. Winds were still 80 miles an hour and weakening, and uh, gusting to 95 is moving west-northwest to 10, but it's expected to turn west and then southwest and then back west and cross the international date line into the, uh, not the international date line, cross the uh, central Pacific line and move in the central Pacific as a tropical depression. You can see Hernan the last several hours has really been shrinking in size and you can see at the end there it is a tiny coiled weakening hurricane and we're not going to have to deal with it. Now what is moving towards the international date line is Kika and this is a tropical depression in the central Pacific. As of 11 a.m. it was at 10.1 north, 167.5 west. Winds were 35 gusting to 45, moving west at 14 1,010 millibars, very weak storm, and this is expected to move across the international date line into the western Pacific, and the ship's model brings it back up into a typhoon. It would be a typhoon, not a hurricane in the western Pacific, but the GFDL model weakens it a bit more. Given the upper level conditions, it shouldn't do much the next few days. This system in the central Pacific needs to be watched as well because it looks a little well organized, and uh, it is past 40, uh, 140 west, so this could become a central Pacific storm as well. I'm Mike Naso from IPR. Stay tuned.